Falls Lennox. It's Wednesday, October 30th, 2024. Five new reporters this morning. Representing Mr. A's third grade class. My name is Kate Lindy. You can call me Keen. Is that good? That's good. My fellow news reporters are Alice and Zoe. It's our pleasure to share out today's news with you. The flag. Is that for me to read? Yes. The flag is a symbol of our freedom. It reminds us of the courage of our nation. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please return to your seats. Here's Zoe with more of today's news. Good morning, everyone. Skies and offset falls will be partly cloudy this afternoon, with a high temperature of 78 degrees. The cafeteria will serve us a healthy and delicious lunch today. Lunch bars have, have their choice of popcorn chicken or hamburger or cheeseburger. Now over to you, Alice. Thank you, Zoe. And now this week's World of Best Friends. Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. Rivera again to talk to you again about Veterans Day. Don't forget our Veterans Day program is November 11th. We are still collecting donations of change. Bring it down here to Officer Ketterer's desk, and she's putting it in this box. Maybe you can sacrifice and not have a snack one time and bring your change in, or maybe you can just clean out your change at home and bring your change in and deposit it right here. Remember, that program is November 11th. November 11th is Veterans Day. Americans honor veterans, people who have served or currently serve in the U.S. military. What makes November 11th special? On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918, the battles of World War I ended. The Allied countries and Germany called a truce, also known as an armistice, and November 11th became known as Armistice Day. The following year, President Woodrow Wilson asked Americans to mark the anniversary of Armistice Day with a moment of silence in gratitude to the soldiers who had fought for peace. Americans did that and more. They held parades and other gatherings all across the country to publicly thank the World War I veterans. In 1954, Congress changed the holiday's name from Armistice Day to Veterans Day to recognize all soldiers who serve in war or peace. Today, there are more than 23 million veterans in the United States. Do you know any veterans? How do you thank them? Good morning, staff and students. I have some athletic news for you. This weekend, the Browns had their second win of the season against the Baltimore Ravens, beating them 29 to 24. Woo -hoo! Finally, our new quarterback who has taken over for Deshaun Watson, James Winston, had a stellar performance. This was our first home win of the season, our first divisional win of the season as well. The Browns' defense had its best performance of the season, surpassing 20 points for the first time all year, and the first time our new quarterback threw over 300 passing yards this season. Wow, what a change! <laughs> Uh, overnight, uh, <laughs> right? Who are these people? Uh, the next time the Browns play is against the Chargers on Sunday, November 3rd at 1 p.m. at our home turf. In Omsid Falls news, our varsity football team played on the 25th, which was last Friday, beating Midview 31-10. to Our boys move on to play Amherst Steel this Friday, 7 p.m. at home as well again. Nice. So another home game. There we go. Last week was jam-packed for Olmsted Falls girls sports, and man, did we have a good one. Our volleyball team is officially district champs, beating <laughs> Walsh Jesuit, which is also a private school. I always like to mention that one. Right, right. They move on to regionals, playing Mayfield at 8 on Thursday. Good luck to our girls. I also have a congratulations in order for the volleyball team because they have released our SWC honors. So SWC, if you don't know what it is, is Southwest Conference, and that is the conference that Olmsted Falls is in. And um, a lot of volleyball girls got a lot of awards, so let's hear it. First team it was Hayden Hess and Emily Oden. Second team was Maya Awad and Addie Kuntz. 
And honorable mention was Jesse Simon and Grace Largent. Largent sounds familiar. I feel it like does, I know yeah. somebody in the school named Largent. If you see these members of our community, please shout them out and congratulate them for a great ongoing season. Our girls' soccer team also played last week, but sadly ended their season in a loss to North Royalton 2-0 in the district championship, so they got really far. Congratulations to those girls on a successful season. <laughs> now, moving on to Bulldog Best for First Grade. Make sure you are listening. From Burke, we have Luke. From Ruffing, we have Iris. From Doherty, we have Logan. From Collins, we have Lila. From Flores, we have Joan. From Rivera, we have Emma. From Smith, we have Corbin. From Pate, we have Zulal. And from Jenkins, we have Olivia. Congratulations to those first graders. Come up to the front of the building to earn your prize. Have a good week. Stay safe on Halloween. See you then. If you heard today, my now, please report to the front lobby immediately after the morning show. That's our news for today. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everyone. And...